Hi folks, little follow up, uh, short video today with a little bit of a, a bit more info on the garden caddy and the toolbox build that we did with the girls on Tuesday and also to answer the question, uh, not from a criminal drama, but who is H? Right, I'm trying to preempt a few of the questions which will probably come up from the uh, Tiny Takeover build. Uh, no, we haven't changed Rose's name. We just haven't built her toolbox yet. I was trying to do a few at the same time, but I didn't have enough of this wider redwood timber to get it to match. And I really wanted all three of the girls' boxes to match. So we've already done her vinyl lettering, so it's ready to go. I've already cut a lot of the bits and bobs for her box, but we will be making an identical one to these two so we can have them all sat on the shelf and they all look nice, neat and tidy. So with these, we use redwood, sawn, um, plain square edge timber, very, very straightforward construction. We made it up as we went along. You could do really simple like this, if we were just cutting it by hand, or because we used a little bandsaw and we're just getting, a, well, the girls picked the design as they scrolled through some images on Pinterest. They went for a curvy design. The dowel is 25 millimeter dowel. In this case, it was a hardwood dowel but you could quite easily just pick up pine. Um, and the finish that we used on this was just a water-based varnish uh, for interior use. Uh, and I don't really use varnishes. I usually stick to hard wax oils, waxes or oils. Um, but actually it's super quick drying and I had really, I mean, yes, it's not the, you'd have to work on it a little bit to get a really good finish, but you can almost wipe it on and yeah really impressed and for really simple indoor projects it's a good way to go uh, the one we used was rustins which i think is fairly simple off the shelf type option that one was from tool station one other thing that i as the diy elf came along in the night and did was to plug the hole so we we pre-drilled and bored um, and cast sunk those holes but they were done so we could put a plug in there you could do this whole build with just dowels in which you drill all the way through and just glue in a dowel. The reason why I didn't do that is because these boards were not perfectly flat, they had a bit of cupping. So by using screws, we could pull them in tight and we didn't have to use endless amounts of clamps uh, to rectify that. So that's how that ended up. This one was a simple toy toolbox, but actually it's a super little size for just handy little tools. The reason why I went completely oversized on the girls' ones, which I'm not gonna lie, they're a bit weighty, is because the saw has to fit in there. Otherwise it's just gonna get mixed in with everything else. I really want everything all in together with theirs. This saw is no good that I bought Eden last year. So I will be buying a, a sensible little roughneck or Barco toolbox saw for them both and we'll make a little sheath or make sure the sheath stays on it and I'm going to put a plywood divider in there so that it can sit in there maybe even put a little leather strap so it's not going to just get you know tossed around or whipped out and play fighting with it uh, but at the end of the day I want them to have real tools and not just gimmicks and some of these that came in a kit that Eden got from her uncle and auntie last year are great um, you know screwdrivers and things are fine but um, some of it, I you know, bought her some nice quality bits and bobs as well, which hopefully should last. So we're gonna do the same with Faith as well, and they can just slowly build up a little kit for themselves. And then lastly, our little garden caddy, exactly the same shape on the end. I went with higher sides, just because I was using up uh, the offcuts of that length of timber. And for this one, we used the Oak Osmo UV oil, Osmo UV oil, uh, again, which is just an, an ancient tin that's needs to be used up and it to be honest it probably needed rubbing back and another coat it was a bit of a rush job but it's fine uh, redwood itself is you know fairly durable for occasional use and with that on it as well if this gets left out in the odd shower it'd be fine providing packets of seeds aren't in it and also do i have plans well uh i don't um but i can make up some plans and if i do that in time i'll put them down in the description below most of, I mean, this, these end panels would fit on an A4 page, so you could quite easily print them off um, if I did it as a PDF or something, and then you could lay it over, just maybe use a bit of spray adhesive, 
uh, lay it over and then cut round, um, but really just freestyle it and I'm sure you'll come up with a much more exciting design. Equally, you can do all fancy joinery down here if you really want to, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, they lost concentration after, after an hour, hence why I ended up doing an awful lot of it. And one other little thing you saw me do in the build was to, the, the plywood I just put straight onto the bottom. Yes, you could rebate it in and cut a groove, but this is fine. Um, it's glued, it's nailed in, I've filled those nails and it's varnished on the bottom, but I intentionally left that plywood a few millimetres big, uh, too big, than the overall size of the box. And then I came along with that router and with a flush trim bit, then just ran that all the way around. That means you end up super flat and smooth. And if the girls' boxes weren't perfectly square, it just went with that and it, you know, and it followed that um, shape. We weren't trying to recreate, uh, recorrect stuff. So that was just a fancy way of doing the base really. Apart from that, any of the bits and bobs that we used, we will put in the description. And, and of course, if you haven't got a, a, a vinyl cutter, which until recently we didn't, and Jay uses it predominantly for her business, um, you could quite easily use the burning tool that I use on the bottom, you could do that. Or equally, you could just make a template from some cereal box cardboard and use some paint um, before your varnish. So do your, temp do your stencil just cut that with scissors or, or a knife, do your stencil and then varnish a couple of layers over the top of that and it would be great. Or you could get even fancier and get out a carving chisel and carve it in there. So all sorts of options. But finally getting to the H, um, which Joe reminded me was uh, part of the line of duty, <laughs> line of duty uh, questioning, who is H? Well H is um, a very special little lad who we, uh, we fostered for 18 months and he now is with his forever mummy and daddy and it's his birthday, it's his third birthday. So we've made this and this week we'll be posting that up to him and uh, maybe get some, some toy tools uh, to put in there. But um, I haven't really touched on it in the past and for the many reasons uh, that really shaped what projects and things we did last year. So, um, I, and I don't really need to go into it too much, but it was a, an amazing thing to to experience um, kind of having four children, uh, but also just going through it and being that little part of his life. Um, and it's something that we're, we're still involved with now. If you want to chat, if anyone wants to chat about our experiences fostering, or um, if you're fostering and you're having a tough time, uh, been there, done that, and we could perhaps um, be a good sounding board for that as well. So um, please, please do get in touch. Uh, if you want any more info because it's something that was very rewarding, very challenging, um, but was a big part of our life and it still is. So thank you for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time. Fear not, DIY junkies. You will get your next fix of grown-up, full-on DIY later in the week. Uh, we're going to get stuck into the bathroom fit-out and pretty much get it all done in one video, even though it took me a lot longer. And as always, a special thank you to all of our amazing patrons for the support they give the channel, especially those who are scrolling across your screen right now and all those at the other levels. And if you want to find out more info on that, we will stick a link down in the description.